Thank you, Jose, for uh, coming and covering this as you have historically. Uh, you know, it's 100 days uh, since the, the hurricane dropped on uh, Puerto Rico, and it's 100 days of people without food, without water, it's 100 days without electricity, and what we're hearing is that in three months, uh, people will still not have electricity, that by July, people may be getting electricity. And so in that time, we believe that the, the, the death count will go up, uh, and that, uh, it, that it will no longer be in the news. So your participation and making sure that there's a spotlight on this crisis is really important. We created this alliance, the Our Power PR NYC, to coordinate all of the activities that are happening all over the city, uh, and also to blunt disaster capitalists and all those that are really helicoptering into Puerto Rico uh, without thinking about the needs and priorities there. So this is an effort that is citywide, it's Puerto Rican diaspora-led in New York City to support the people on the ground in Puerto Rico. And if we want to make any kind of contribution, uh, if we want to get involved with the organization, how do we reach out to you? So we have people walking around with, uh, with um, uh, sign-in sheets, and we will provide you with information so that you could, or you could go and, and you can email us at info at uprose.org, and we will connect you to all of the folks that are doing things throughout the city. Okay, good. All right, thank you. The project called Puerto Rico on the map because I felt it was important for us as media makers to go down and tell the story of Puerto Rico. So I went with seven people on October 6th. We stayed for 10 days to really capture what was going on on the island. And 100 days later, we know that half the island is without power and electricity. We know those with power and electricity, there's continuing blackouts. We also know that most of the water is not clean and it's not drinkable. And I think the response from the United States government has been negligent, but I actually don't think the response would have been as great with a Democratic president, whether it's a Republican president that we have now or a Democratic president, because the status of Puerto Rico as a colonial or, or a colony has always made us a stepchild to the United States of America. So I don't actually think that our American citizenship guarantees that we are afforded the rights that many Americans are afforded. And part of it is because we are. We're people of color, we're Puerto Ricans, and we're a colony of the United States of America. So I think until the colonial condition is addressed, until we are in a decolonization process and we become a free and independent nation, that other climate catastrophes will continue to devastate our island. Today is really about a moment of silence to honor the over 1,000 Puerto Ricans that have passed because of Hurricane Maria and because of federal neglect on the island of Puerto Rico. And so we're here to stand for them, to let them know that we have not forgotten them, to make sure that the media remembers that this story can disappear and so can the lives of our people if we do not pay attention and put a spotlight in the darkness that Puerto Ricans are experiencing right now. I want to thank you all for coming out in the cold. We're going to begin. Uh, I'm going to introduce you folks in a second, but first I want to introduce uh, La Car Caridad La Bruja because she has to run to a show. She's going to open with um, La Borinqueña. Yes. And I'll be singing the revolutionary anthem, the one that excludes Columbus, because I That's feel right. like at this point we shouldn't be uh, doing an anthem that includes oppression, a murderer, a, murderer, a rapist, because what we're doing is just continuing and, and, and co-signing to this oppression and we can no longer do that. Para mi querida Puerto Rico, nuestro ancestro y toda la gente que están sufriendo ahora. Fist up, fist up. Yeah, fist up. Despierta borinqueño que han dado la señal. Despierta de ese sueño que es hora de luchar. A ese llamar patriótico no arde tu corazón. Ven, no serás simpático. 
el ruido del cañón, nosotros queremos la libertad, nuestro machete nos la dará. Vámonos por inqueños, vámonos ya, que nos espera ansiosa, ansiosa la libertad, la libertad, la libertad, la libertad, la libertad. ¡Viva Puerto Rico libre! ¡Viva Puerto Rico! Que nuestra gente necesita nuestra gente. We all need each other. Bendiciones. Much love, everybody. Thank you for what you're doing. Each one of you count. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace. Gracias a ti, Bruja. Peace, everybody. First of all, thank you for coming out. So let's just start with the fact that not only is the U.S. government lying, the Puerto Rican colonial administrative government has been lying since day one about how many people have died in Puerto Rico. I created a project called Puerto Rico on the Map. I thought it was necessary for us as Puerto Rican and other Latino, Latina and Latinx young people, particularly not me young, but bringing other younger people there to document our narrative. When we arrived on October 6th, the first thing most people told us is that the government was lying about how many people were dead. When we went to Utuado, we ran into a funeral home director who said, I have 14 bodies here right now. And that's in one part of Puerto Rico. Two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, we find out through the Center for uh, investigation in Puerto Rico and the New York Times that there have been a thousand plus deaths. But we need to remind everybody who thinks that the government does not lie about this, that they lied about how many people died after Hurricane Katrina. But in Puerto Rico it's a little different because most of these deaths are deaths after the hurricane. And why? Because the United States government can invade any nation, but somehow they could not go to Puerto Rico to save people off a mountain. The United States government can assassinate anybody right now with a drone, but couldn't go to Puerto Rico to feed people, to give them dialysis. We all have stories, especially as Boricuas in the diaspora. My particular story is this, before I introduce Lisette from Muevete. When I got to Puerto Rico with the crew on PR on the map, two days after I was able to go to Bayamón and see my Titi Gladys, who was in a hospital. And the only reason they let me in was because they knew I came from New York. And I had to put on a hazmat suit and I only got 15 minutes to see her. And everybody who was in that floor was critical but because they were not dying and there was not enough clean water or power, they would not get the surgeries to save their legs, to save their arms from amputation. I got 15 minutes to speak to her because she thought she would not survive two days. But luckily she did. That's one story out of 3.4, 5.5 million stories. We cannot forget who passed due to government negligence. To me, that is murder. To me, that's what it means to be a colony. And to me, we don't owe the United States government or any Wall Street bondholder one fucking dollar. This government, this United States government and the international community that has let us down owes Puerto Rico reparations. It owes us a decolonization process and we are gonna fight 
until we are truly an independent and free nation who can self-determine our own faith and our own future. With that, I want to bring up Lisette Nieves from Muevate. But before Lizette comes up, we're going to have Naisha, a young person. You're young, right? You're younger than me. Okay, that's good. That's all. You come up here then. We got, let, let me tell y'all, I've been in this work for 25 years. The only reason I've been in this work is because of people I know, my elders I see in the audience, like Jose Rivera, my peer Lizette, Mimi Rosenberg from WBAI. This is why I exist as an organizer. So if you're over 40, we gotta pass on the mic. Thank you so much. Okay guys, I'm gonna lead you in some chants, all right? So repeat after me. One, we are the people. We are One, the people. Two, a little bit louder. A little bit louder. A little bit louder. Three, we want justice for our people. We okay? want justice for our people. All right, let's try that again. One. We One. Are the people. Two. A little bit louder. Three. We want justice for our people. One. We are the people. Two. A little bit louder. Three. We want justice for our people. All right. One. We are the people. Two. A little bit louder. Three. We want justice for our people. I can't hear y'all, man. One. We are the people. Two. A little bit louder. Let's try another one. It is self-evident Trump is not our president. Ready? It is self-evident Trump is not our president. 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 Woo! All right, I like that. All right. We like that. So in the spirit of Muevete, we are collective, so if all my people can please come up and take your spots. Take your we have prepared a collective. We did this yesterday in our meeting, um, and it's something that we created together. All right. Ready? Ready! Ready. Okay, one, two, three. Despierta comunidad! Wake up, community! La isla necesita luz! The island needs light! Muévete! La isla necesita agua! The island needs water! Muévete! La isla necesita comida! The island needs food! Muévete! La isla necesita medicina! The island needs medicine! Muévete! Los niños necesitan su educación! The children need their education! Despierta, comunidad! Puerto Rico no será olvidado. Puerto Rico no será Puerto Rico no será ignorado. Puerto Rico no será Muévete. Donar organizaciones directamente de Puerto Rico. Donate to organizations directly to Puerto Rico. Muévete. Compartir el mensaje y involucrar su comunidad. Spread the message and get the community involved. Muévete. Involucrarse con organizaciones locales. Volunteer with local grassroots organizations. Despierta comunidad. Wake up community. Muévete. No te muevas, que tengo frío. There's one member of our team, una miembro de nuestro equipo que no pudo estar aquí. Ella es una sobreviviente de Hurricane yes. Maria. Her know. name is Isa Lisa Chavaria. She wrote a statement in her absence. Um, Jeanette, step on up. Boca Negra will lead uh, in Spanish and I will translate into English. Okay, hola. Mi nombre es Isa Lisa Chavaria. I'm Jeanette, but I'm reading for Isa Lisa. Y el impacto del huracán María fue aterrodado y frustramente durante y después. The, my experience with the hurricane was terrifying and frustrating then and now. Todavía estamos viviendo los efectos de los daños sin agua, portable, luz y súper difícil conseguir los artículos prime, de primera necesidad. 
We are still without light and it is very difficult for us to get our basic needs. Y los precios super elevados. With everything at higher prices. Si le está haciendo más se le está haciendo más difícil todavía a las personas con condiciones especiales conseguir los medicamentos y las necesidades para mejorar la calidad de su vida. It is even more difficult for those who require medical attention and it's affecting their quality of life. Al principio del desastre, todas las comunidades se unieron y se apoyaron uno al otro como podía. At the beginning, all the communities came together to the best of their ability. Pero ya es a esta altura del paso del huracán, ya las personas se van desapareciendo al no tener provisiones necesarias. And now people are leaving our island because they can't get their basic necessities. Nosotros los puertorriqueños nos caracterizamos porque nos gusta ayudar a todos somos hermanos. Puerto Ricans characterize themselves as people who love to help. No está fácil ya y hay comunidades que todavía aún siguen incomunicadas. It is not easy and there are still places that, are, that have no communication. Y las ayudas no llegan a, a algunos lugares porque no hay paso para las carreteras. And you can't even get aid to certain places because the, the roads are blocked. Debemos detectar primero estas comunidades y poder llegar a los olvidados. It is important to detect those communities and, and focus on the people who've been forgotten. No todo es como parece. Not everything looks the way it should. Ni las ayudas que están enviando llegan a donde verdaderamente no hay tanta necesidad. The aid that's coming in sometimes goes to people who don't really need it. Deben impactar esas comunidades más afectadas y olvidadas. We must focus on communities that have been most impacted and forgotten. Agradezco mucho a Muévete por su apoyo y a Community Connections for Youth que siempre me ha apoyado desde que comencé a asistir en el 2013. She is grateful to Muévete for her support and Community Connections for Youth that has welcomed her as, as a family um, and supported her since she's been in New York, where she came from Puerto Rico in 2013, and it still will be part of our community in Puerto Rico or here. Las comunidad, las organizaciones se convirtieron en mi segunda familia. Los amos, Puerto Rico está de pies. We love you, she loves you, and Puerto Rico is on its feet. Don't get it twisted. All right, so first everybody get close, get closer, you know, with people of color. Body heat is good. Good. It's good. Love. My name is Rosa Clemente. I'm a Bronx born hip hop Afro Boricua. I was raised in New York City, but as an organizer, I was taught in New York City. So I just want to just bring up the spirit of Richie Perez. Richie Perez is present, and I also want to give love to my sister Erica Garner. Because last week she did an interview and she talked about Puerto Rico and the solidarity that we need to have as people of African descent and as indigenous descent people, right? We need to be about solidarity. And for all the young people here who think, why am I doing this? Does it matter? How do I make a difference? Fuck yeah, we make a difference. Matter movement that goes, I believe we will win. And I believe that Puerto Rico will be free. I, I believe, believe that we will win. I 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 believe that we will win.
groups. Right? And this is what people in Puerto Rico live with every day. Imagine all these lights out. For two days in New York City, New York City, we collapse. We're talking a hundred days without power, and the people of Puerto Rico are resisting with lights like this. With groups like Uproos, y Muevate, and the Queer Kitchen Brigade, Mothers on the Move, Mayday Space, the New York City Environmental Justice Alliance, Chulo Underwear, the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute, I need my glasses, Staten Island, Urban Center, the Rocket Society, the good old Lori Sign, Defend Puerto Rico, The Point, People's Climate Movement, PR Dream, Labor Council for Latin American Advancement, Gabichu Culture, Grassroots Global Justice Alliance, the Climate Justice Alliance, Grassroots International, PR on the Map, Center for Constitutional Rights, the IMS Women's Institute, a Fundo, y Bombayo. del año, uno van alegre y otro van llorando, la vida que vuelve, vuelve el nuevo año, con la nueva bebé, con la nueva embalada, hay muchos que son pobres, que no tienen nada, pero son los que quieren, que nunca llegarán, hay otros muy ricos, que todos los tienen, y en las navidades, todas las celebran, la vida que vuelve. Tradición del año, uno va en alegre y otro va llorando. Navidad que vuelva. Todo el mundo canta. Tum 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 tum, tan 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 Escuche, va mi gente de Puerto Rico, estamos live. Estamos con ustedes. Hey, she's right here. We love. We 
baby. Pero tú estás live. Yo estoy live aquí, en un mensajito para la gente de Puerto Rico en Facebook. Yo me alegro verte de nuevo y ver que tú estás alive. <risa> y todavía metiendo mal. Ya tú sabes. Y aquí estoy con este frío que hace, 13 grados, pero vamos a calentar a este sistema. Ya tú sabes. Si el boricua... Se respeta. Si no... Maceta. maceta. Por eso estamos aquí. Así presente. Frío. Hay que decir presente para estas causas nobles. Definitivamente que tenemos que estar aquí, dejarle saber a este gobierno que no puede continuar con esta dictadura sobre Puerto Rico. Pero este es el embargo que tiene sobre Puerto Rico con el Jones Act. Que no puede negociar ni bajar los precios de, de, de toda la mercancía que llega a Puerto Rico. So hay que eliminar ese ese Cabotage Law, eh, el Jones Act, eso hay que eliminarlo. Puerto Rico se tiene que descolonizar, es lo primordial. Y esto, bueno, la farsa quedó al descubierto con esta tormenta. Por lo menos María trajo a la luz para que el mundo viera que Puerto Rico tiene que ser liberado de las garras de este imperio.